Yeah, we've had some we've had some really good successes. We've had one guy who uh is now he now works for us. Uh he's a fantastic success. Um uh, he came through the program as a knucklehead up and down. Um and after the program was over, he was working in social work, going to school, volunteering here, and uh had a great story to tell, and I was able at the time to convince my bosses to go ahead and let's uh, put him on our payroll, and it's been a godsend ever since, and he's a force multiplier. He is, uh, you know, just relates with all our veteran defendants and makes a world of difference with them. Um, you know, we have, uh, we've had quite a few successes that we're proud of. Uh, guys that quietly go off, you know, they came in a mess. We've had people go to school, um, go to university, to, or not the university, go to Temple University and get their GI benefits set up. People go get better jobs. Uh, the young man I was talking about who now lives in the center of our state who had, you know, coming out, you know, pulling weapons on vehicles and stopping them and, People talking to him, CIA and the enemy coming, trying to get him, and now he's a productive citizen. Uh, There's a couple children. We've seen the photos. Uh, that's one of the greatest things is a couple of our veterans come back, and they're telling us how well they're doing, and then we see their four-year-old, and it just makes you feel good because it's not just about that veteran. It's about their children. It's about their spouse. It's about their parents. It's about their siblings, their cousins. It's just... You make the difference in one person's life, and it has that ripple effect. And we see that. We see that quite often. And it, it, it does, you know, when I get overburdened or tired about it, and say, ah, it makes me realize that our team is doing some fantastic work. So you got to keep going because there's another one in the pipeline. There's another one in the pipeline that we have to carry off the battlefield, even though the battlefields here in Philadelphia or in the suburbs, we have to keep we have to keep the fight up for them. We can't leave any of them behind.